lovely ladies. We're going to do a walking with Denise video today. Um, let's see. My mind just went place. Oh, I am smart. I <laughs> Yes, my buy one, get one free sale. Still have a few left, so um, give me a call or message me. Um, this is a great way to, to try if you've never, I have found, as I am trying to get my eating at back under control, that I can cut the one bar into 12 pieces, stick it in the refrigerator, and when I need that salty sweet, um, I just take one little square out and I can suck on it and that satisfies that craving. So I'm not sabotaging myself to just scarf on something. I could just sit, suck on one of these one little squares. So, good trick, good tip um, for us to do. Um, okay, um, if you are here, we need you to mark here, that you're here. And then when you are finished, you're going to put, I've completed my workout. Um, then also remember our main challenge. Um, not seeing a whole lot of people on the board. Um, this is an easy challenge to do. Um, you can do it taking the step out, just do like we've done our jumping jacks without the step. You're just crossing over and back. So let's um, get some more on the board. So let's see, what else? Make sure you're getting your water as it's warming up, it's, it's warming up, especially if you are outside working in your yard, <clears throat> excuse me, in your yard, you're taking a walk, whatever, um, make sure you stay hydrated. Hydrated is going to help flush those toxins out of your body, help your body metabolize and burn that fat. So um, another hit to to try to stay as healthy as we can. Plus, if you do contact, come in contact with any allergens or anything, water is going to help flush. So, make sure you get that water. Let's see. We have Ruth, hi EJ, Annie, Rebecca, and Miss Pam. Oh, last thing. Um, I'm doing the walk this Saturday, and we decided to, Miss Connie and I decided we are going to do um, the wildlife viewing blind walk, so we will meet at the Eagle um, Viewing Center, or deck, in the parking lot there, at 8 o'clock out at the Arsenal. So, let's get ready. And let's do our walking with the knees workout. Okay, we're going to start with our Where do I put the fingerprint in? On the circle. It's not not accepting my fingerprint. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get started. We're going to do our pec dick. So get our arms up, get ready, and go. Making sure that we are engaging our muscles. Don't just flop our arms around. We want to make sure that everything is engaged. We can do this in our rhomboids, our trapezius, our deltoids, our biceps, our triceps. Um, we should feel it all through our upper body, making sure that we're using our body as resistance. All right. So, three steps forward, a three steps back. Good morning, teacher. Get some butt kicks going. Remember, we're still on our 
of warm up, so we're going to take it a little easier. But make sure you get your legs up. Good morning, Miss Evangeline. And remember, make sure you say you're here so that we know that You were with me, you were on my lunch party. All right, let's do our tippy toe. Make sure if you need to modify this, take smaller steps or hold on to a chair or a counter or something. Getting up and on our tippy toes and doing a reverse and stuff helps us with our proprial reception um, and our, our brain connection that helps us with our balance and moving. Good morning, Nancy. All right. Let's uh, do some climb the rope. Again, when you're doing this, make sure you're engaging your muscles, keeping those muscles engaged. And we're going to work our biceps, our triceps, our pectorials, our rhomboids, and our trapezius. All of those muscles are going to get worked if we keep that muscle engaged. All right. Down, down, up. Making sure you're going across the body so that you're getting that oblique work. We should feel this in our total body. All right. Now we're going to do some windshield wipers. So get down on our back. Shoulders should be stiff. And just moving our legs. Just moving our legs side to side. Keeping the core engaged. Okay, so we're going to do some 
squat with our chicken wings and side to side. Again, speed it up or slow it down as you need. All right. And squat. So, you know when you're doing a heart rate check, you need to start at zero, and we're going to go. And stop. So, right in where you're at, find your age, come over, we want to be, stay between 70 and 85%. Anything above that, we're going into anaerobic and we're losing our fat burn. I don't know about you, my heart rate is up there. So, sprints on the spot. So again, if you need to modify, just don't lift your, your toes off. Get those heels up, get those knees moving. All right. And we're going to do some Squirmies. Rebecca's going to show you them on the ground. Nice job, ladies. I see some wonderful numbers. All right. Sumo squats with toe rises. Arms up. 
pinching those rhomboids together, keeping your arm muscles, your biceps, triceps engaged, keeping your rhomboids and your trapezius engaged. Control that movement. Don't just let your arms go flying back and forth. All right. Now some step in place. If you want to, you can pick it up and do a little bit of jog or slow it down. I was freezing all morning and now I'm roasting. Let's do our, get our fists up. Punch. Keeping our hips square and making sure you're just getting your upper body. Keep those arms, your biceps and your triceps engaged as you're doing this. All right, we're going to do up. Up, down, down. numbers. Ricky's watching. Oh, Ricky. All right. And go. All right. And remember, find your age. Come over here. Find your number and what percentage. Let us know what percent you're working at. Remember to sit, keep it between 70 and 85. 
Okay, let's get some dog in place going. Remember to modify, keep your toes on the ground. And lift those heels up. You get that knee action going. If you need to, hold on to something. All right, we're going to do our left leg, but the back leg kick, lift. Remember to keep that glute engaged as you're doing it. Make sure it's all about your moving 
your elbows. Spin in those elbows. Since we're not dropping our bottom, we're bending our elbows. Nice tricep workout. All right. Good job, ladies. I know. That was evil of me to put that close to the end of our workout. So let's get some stair climbers. Yeah. Get those stair climbers.
circles with our angles. We've done a lot of jumping around and moving on our, our feet today, so let's start and go rotate. Start working some of that tension out. Okay, and we're going to go bend over and arms out. And just hold it. Sometimes the static hold is harder than actually moving. Keep those arms up. Don't let them fall. Keep them out straight across. Don't go back into an airplane.
right. And the other arm. Get it? Pat yourself on the back. I don't know about you all, but this feels really, really good today. All right, let's go a little bit deeper. Make sure when you're doing any of these stretches, keep your your feet shoulder width apart to keep your balance and try not to lock your knees. Now take it back just a little bit. Go a little bit deeper. And then to your to the side.
down. Push your knees down. All right, push a little bit deeper, opening up those hip joints a little bit wider. All right, now we're going to go back on our back.